hi all welcome back again so today we will find uh, the bend constant of a pipe with the help of Comsol uh, multiphysics so let me first show you a theory then you will understand better so see what we are going to determine is this determination of uh, diametrical pressure coefficient it is also known as bend constant of a pipe and it is given by this formula PO minus PI by half rho V square where this PO and PI is the uh, pressure at uh, inner and outer uh, radius of the bend which I will explain what is that is and the V is we know the average velocity and rho is density so let's see what it actually means what is meant by this PO and PI so let me go back to this page again see this was an experimental setup in this project so this you know is a manometer this is a blower we used and what is meant by PO and PI that difference that is this one this one is uh, one is the pressure at this inner radius and one is at the outer radius see here you can see a bend so this is the lower pressure tap and this is the high pressure uh, tap so the difference between this is nothing but PO minus PI what we just saw in that previous formula which is this one ok so let us now see how we can uh, make this in COMSOL so let me get back to it so what i have done here is i have given a, a pipe sorry i have taken a pipe bend and what i have done i have taken half of it because it is a symmetric figure so what we can do is just uh, take a half of it and do the analysis it will be same because it's symmetric so we have used water here and fluid properties by default it will be taken here while you can see this one only this one is overridden that means boundary condition is there uh, for inlet we have chosen this one and for outlet we have chosen this end so I have already done the study uh, sorry uh, completed this study before so you can see, uh, see this um, mesh and the study you can see it's already executed so normally when you execute a turbulent flow study you will get two fields for results the, like the velocity which you can see here uh, so the velocity is plotted in a different plane let us change this we will like to plot in an xz because xz will be this flat surface as you can see from this axis so let's plot so here you can see it plots this and if you want to just take the middle one then just plot this one only and you can make it inter interactive so if you just click on this and shift it so it comes towards the center make it to zero and it will see the middle layer of the flow this will be the velocity profile there similarly also you will find the pressure plot so these two are the basic ones that you will be getting after your uh, uh, analysis of turbulent flow is over so we have done this for on our previous videos as well so there is nothing new but uh, now we have to find the pressure at this point this PO minus PI which we have seen is like this see this manometer so it's if we just uh, bisect that uh, you know that 90 degree bend what we get is two tap ins and there we just uh, measured the pressure difference with this manometer so how we can do this uh, with come so let's see so what you have to do here is just go to data sets here from results and you can see I have added something new which is cut plane ok so you can see cut plane 2 is added ok so what is cut plane uh, so uh, that uh, 
let's go to one which I have done previously. So the cut plane is nothing but a plane which will cut through the geometry. So as you can see here, when I have done this, made a cut plane and plotted, I will explain what this is. So I just plotted and what I get is a plane which is a required thing. One is the tap at the lower and uh, sorry, uh, one is a lower pressure tap and one is a higher pressure tap. So if we uh, plot a plane that bisects this uh, angle of bend, then uh, that is we uh, that is what we call as uh, cut plane. So what we need to do here is just when you go to a cut plane, see the new one, you will get this from which one you will make. So our uh, parent data will be solution one so then you can see what are the plane types here you can select different options but for us we have selected general and then you can point this to point and normal so you can play with this and change all these things let's see if i change it here then you'll get a different kind of a plane see it's moved to here so what actually this means that uh, point and normal means from where do you want to generate that plane so for us to bisect the bend angle so we have to plot it at here we can see that this is the bisection point so it is in negative z is in this so in this it will be negative minus 0 0.15 so i'll just 15 and because it's a normal it directly captures it so it will plot a normal plane so what we wanted is a bisection at the uh, sorry a uh, plane that will bisect the uh, bend so we got what we needed so this is i will find that two uh, tapping points of the sorry two pressure points that we need but now we also need this value so now let's see what uh, like how would we get the value at these two uh, points the value of pressure for doing that we have to go to results and click on 2d plot group and what 2d plot group will do it will just create a means uh, by plot what we mean we mean a graphical representation so it will just create a 2d graph for us so it here it wants data set so for us the data set will be the cut plane one since we want to generate the values of this cut plane okay so now we will uh, right click on this 2d plot group and select surface here so for surface uh, means uh, why we selected surface is that we want a surface plot over uh, for this so here you can see the expression is uh, a given in spf.u which means uh, velocity but we don't want velocity we want the pressure plot so we'll just click here and then you can see here it's written pressure you can also go down here and select turbulent flow properties here you can see this pressure double click on it it will just automatically get here and then you can click on plot so you get that get this plot so what this plot actually is so if i can go back to cut plane one So what that plot actually means is this thing. Let me zoom. Okay, sorry, sorry. So if I plot a pressure plot in this plane, that will be represented by the surface one plot. So what we get this pressure is that same thing. And there is also one advantage because of this color legend. You can go here and Click on show maximum minimum values. Plot data color legend show maximum minimum and get return here and click on plot once again. So here you'll get the maximum and minimum pressure which we need. So this is the inner radius and this is the outer radius. So you can just uh, take a difference of uh, both of this. And one more important and uh, sorry after getting the difference you already know the velocity which we have used here in inlet so in inlet what velocity we have used we have used 5 meter per second and rho you know for water what it is 
and you can uh, get the value of the diametrical pressure coefficient or what we call bin constant and one important thing to notice here is this one that the pressure at the inner radius is negative what does this mean so let's go back to our velocity profile what does it mean so if the pressure is negative what does it mean is nothing but that oh sorry one one thing i missed the pressure will always be less at the outside and not at the inside so what here it means the flow is leaving the walls of the pipe at the outer radius and that's why it generates a vacuum and that's why the pressure will be negative there so the importance of bend constant is that when you create a pipeline so with the help of bend constant you will be able to find the total loss that occurs in a pipe and for uh, with that help of that you will be able to uh, find the specification of a pump that you will require for maintaining the proper discharge in a plant so so that it's our conclusion here so let me go back to this one only what we did is that uh, so we just made cut planes for different bend radius so this is for smallest one this is the second one uh, here the bend radius is more slightly more and this is the one which I was showing you right now this third case this is the one we are showing and this you can see that middle cut plane present at the bisection of the angle and this is the plot and if we put the values we will get a value of 1.6304 which is uh, falls in the range of the expected values which is uh, greater than 1 but uh, less than 3 I think so you can see here the values given here so there is also one more thing that we can conclude from here see here the bend angle is so large so obviously the bend constant will be less and the loss in the pipe will be less so like uh, what we saw here you can see this is the um, sorry the tabulated data that we got from the simulation so as we increase the bend radius the uh, sorry as we increase the bend radius the bend constant will con continuously keep on decreasing so that is the main purpose of our uh, uh, project that was that we would observe how it varies with the change of bend radius so here you can see in the graph as well so as the bend radius is higher uh, sorry as the bend radius is small there is a higher value of bend constant and as the bend radius gradually increases there the bend constant value decreases i hope you learned something new today and thanks for watching